Welcome to Real Estate Game Changers Radio, featuring real estate trendsetters and industry influencers, sharing tips and strategies to help home buyers and home sellers get the most out of their next real estate transaction. Now, here's your host, Suzanne Doyle Ingram. This is your host, Suzanne Doyle Ingram, and you're listening to Real Estate Game Changers Radio. And I'm really happy about my guest today. This, I've got on the line Mark Floyd, and he's a realtor in Plano, Texas. And he's been living in Plano since 1977 and been in real estate since 2005. So he really knows the area very, very well. He's the broker owner of Floyd Realty Group. And I think you're going to be really interested in uh, what we covered today in the interview. So thank you so much for coming to this interview, Mark. Yeah, thanks for having me, Suzanne. This is just great to have you on the show. So let's start out right away and, and tell me how you got into the real estate business. Well, I, I got in when I was in college. Um, I was taking a lot of real estate classes because that's really the only thing that, that kept me awake in the uh, in the classroom. <laughs> and um, it was just so fascinating. And I had all the credits before I graduated to get my license. So I thought, hey, well, why not? I'll, I'll go down to the, uh, the local real estate office and take the test. And, and that's what I did. I took the test. I passed it. And um, then I started getting calls from friends and family and and uh and referrals you know to saying hey uh, i need to sell my house or i need to buy a house can you help me and and that's pretty much how i got started that's great so you were really young um yeah yeah i was in my uh well my early 20s so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. did you ever find that people didn't take you seriously because you were so young i think that was in my head but i, I think once i once i met with them um they realized that i was serious about you know about what I do and what I and, and I love what I do, so mm-hmm. they they gave me the you know the trust. Mm-hmm. And so, really, this was your first career, wasn't it? Uh, before that, I was in the Air Force, the United States Air Force, and oh, that's great. Um, and that that was a great opportunity and great experience, uh, life building skills that I learned from from the military, and uh, yeah. So this is kind of my second job. Oh, okay, I get it. So you so you straight out of high school, you went into the military. I did, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, perfect. And uh, did you travel anywhere? Yeah, I got to live. Um, I got to live in Florida for a couple of years, and then I got to live in the United Kingdom for a couple of years. So when I was over there, I traveled all throughout Europe, and uh, oh, that's great. got to go to Hawaii and North Africa. And, wow! Yeah, got to see that's... the world. Yeah. So then you came. Then you came home, and then you went to university. Okay. And then you, and you actually have a degree in real estate, which is really, really interesting to me because most people don't. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but a lot of people. I mean, the realtors that I work with seem to be always continuously educating themselves. But it is possible to just have the bare minimum. It is. It is. I I just found uh, when I was in college, I just found that real estate and marketing courses and, and subjects I was really interested in and really good at. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really, you know, enjoyed, enjoyed carrying that on. Mm-hmm. And what do you love about your career in real estate? Uh, just getting to meet with new people um, and help them achieve their, their dreams or their goals of, of whatever it is, selling or buying a house um, and earning their trust and, and seeing their satisfaction at, at the closing table. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that feeling of accomplishment must be amazing. I know it, it was for us, when, especially when we bought our first home, because I didn't even think we'd be able to qualify for a mortgage. We were young, and I was self-employed, but it's so exciting when you close on a house. Yeah, it's a great feeling, even for me, because I'm sitting there, and I'm excited with them as well. Mm-hmm. If they're, if, you know, if it's the first time, second time, however many times they bought a house, yeah. um, I want to make sure they get in there and they're happy. Yeah. So it's a it's an awesome experience. Yeah, it's exciting. So can you tell me more about Plano, Texas? What what's what's it like there? And what's great about your city? So Plano is just north of Dallas, and the great the great part I, I work in the Dallas Fort Worth area. It's a big metroplex, and the great thing is uh, the different pockets and the different neighborhoods are um, are probably the best best part about Dallas. We don't have mountains here. We don't have oceans. We have you know, different neighborhoods where you can kind of, if you're a foodie mm-hmm. or if you'd like to hang out in the park um, or just get out and, you know, enjoy the parks. Um, there's so many different places. That's what I, that's what I love about the area. And then you also have different styles of homes in some of the neighborhoods. You have some newer homes, some older homes. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just, 
amazing getting you know getting to see all these different uh communities mhm that's ne- neat wow sort of kind of reminds me a little bit of Toronto when you're talking about that because there's so many distinct little neighborhoods yeah it's, i would say it's it's pretty similar to that um but it's got the you know the hot weather and and the southern accents <laughs> yeah and the barbecues right Oh, the barbecue. Yeah, that's what I love about, you know, one barbecue, one place in, you know, like in McKinney, Texas, is going to be amazing. And then you go to another place down in Dallas and it's just, you know, it's a total different experience. It's just as amazing. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. So the food, the food's really good there. Oh, if you're a foodie, uh, the tacos, the, mm-hmm. the just everything. Mm, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's get back to real estate for a minute. And you know, one of the things that intrigued me about you is that I know you're you're you have a really good reputation because I always check check people out before I have them on my show. And um, I know that you actually have a guarantee that you you guarantee people that you will sell their home in 30 days or less, or pay them up to $10,000. So I want to know more about that. How can you do that? Yeah, it's a great, it's a great uh, program. And, 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 you know, my clients are drawn to it. They love it. Mm -hmm. Um, Basically I'm guaranteeing that I'm going to perform or I've got to give up something. Mm -hmm. Um, So it really um, allows me to, you know, do what I do best, market homes, sell homes, work with people and do what I love. Uh, But it also, you know, challenges me and it, it provides an incentive for uh for my clients if i you know if i fall short of the goal that i set mm-hmm. have, um, you ever, have you ever had to pay the ten thousand dollars no i haven't oh that's great no i haven't my homes my homes typically sell in about 10 days oh that's um, great even homes that are priced in you know above seven hundred thousand mm-hmm. um you know t- the, the the typical agent out here may take 60 to 100 days to sell it. Wow. Well, on average, I've, I've sold them in, in under 20 days. So, oh my goodness, um, it's just fantastic. it's just a different, I just a different way of marketing um, that I provide for my clients. And you have because you have that background and you have that education in marketing. And I think in marketing, there's something called risk reversal, where it's like if you show them that you have skin in the game too, right? And that's what you're doing with this guarantee. Exactly. That's fantastic. So I, I would say if you, if you had to say you have a specialty, I mean, I would venture to say it's being able to sell homes really quickly. For top dollar. Yeah, yeah. that's my goal. Yeah. So, I mean, no, sorry, go on. I was just going to say, I think everybody wants the same thing, whether, you know, you've got a $100,000 house or a $100 million house, you want to sell it quickly mm-hmm. and you want to sell for the most amount of money and yeah. you want to sell it with, you know, the least amount of hassle. So that's, that's always my goal whenever I work with somebody. People should be choosing you. You're gonna get you're gonna get the most bang for the buck and sell it quickly. So what do you say to people? Let's say I, I say, Okay, Mark, you know, my husband and I are um we're gonna move to Timbuktu and we need you to sell our home and then you come and take a look at it and what what's what are sort of some of the things you suggest that we do to get our house ready? Well the key to getting top dollar if that's what you want for your house mm-hmm. and to sell it quickly is is presentation and marketing. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's not, it's really tailor. It's really tailor made to, you know, to every different buyer, every different seller. Um, so once I walk through the house, I'll know, I get a pretty good under, understanding of what needs to be done. If anything, you know, to, to accomplish that, to get the most amount of money quickly. Um, Cause I don't like to, you know, Tell people their house is worth more than it really is, or less than it really is, mm-hmm. um, and have the home sit, you know, on the market forever. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't take those kind of listings. If somebody says they don't, they don't care how long it takes to sell. Um, that's not something that I want to be, you know, involved in. I want them to get the results they want. Yeah, that, um, that. So if they say we don't care how long it takes, they're probably pricing it too high, right? Yeah, that, that can be the case. I, I've, I've met. Uh, I've had to turn down listings before because, um, you know, the house is worth 
four hundred thousand, but they want to list it for seven hundred thousand. Oh my goodness! No. Um, and, uh, and 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 you know, an agent will come along and and they'll list it, and it'll stay in the market for a year or two. Oh my goodness! And um, you know, it just it looks bad. It looks bad for the the seller. Mm-hmm. It looks bad for the agent. Um, mm-hmm. So. And and what are people thinking when they see a house? Like the potential buyers, they see a house and they go, "Oh, okay, it's seven hundred thousand. Been on the market for a year and a half." What goes through their mind? Well, if they see it at all, mm-hmm. that's that's usually the thing. Sometimes, usually, they won't even they won't even see it because they're looking. They may be looking for that house, but they're looking for that house in the four hundred thousand range. Right. Whatever. Okay. Because um, when they, they go so online, yeah, right, right. Yeah. So they're not even looking at something like that. So they're missing out on. You know all the buyers that they whenever they overprice their home, mm-hmm. um, but if they do see it, you know they're just like, well, why are they asking so much? Um, why are they asking so much, Mark? I mean, I, when I work with buyers, or when my agent works with buyers, um, we hear that all the time. That uh, you know, wh- why are they, why are they asking so much? Is like, you know, we can't explain it. It's just maybe mm-hmm. we should make them a lower offer. Or they might, they might think. Buy. Do they ever think like, what's wrong with this house? Why doesn't anyone want it? Oh yeah. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, it seems a bit. So yeah, funny. presentation and marketing are are really the key, and you know it, it's different for every home. Um, uh, sometimes I'll bring in a stager, mm-hmm. um, you know, to tell people that hey, maybe you shouldn't have a, a deer head on the wall mm-hmm. or a cow rug on the floor. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to turn off some people or um, things like that. You know. Just, yeah, uh, because you want you want the potential buyers to be able to envision living there, right? So if you have a vegetarian exactly. buy, she's going to be offended by the cow in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, completely. And I guess you could you get a good idea of you know if it's a three or four bedroom house, it's probably going to be a family. You know, you want it to kind of look friendly to families, right? Yeah, you do. And I I, I listed a home that uh, I I list a lot of homes that. Fail to sell with other agents, mm. and I usually I usually sell them in, in a couple of days. Um, and I, I remember going through a house that had gone through two agents, had been on the market for I think like 200 days or something. Wow! And um, it was a beautiful house, nothing wrong with the home, very desirable neighborhood. Um, but they did they had like a like a cow rug on the floor, and they had a <laughs> a really they had, they had just really bright like. It was a very traditional home, but they had all this bright paintings and stuff. Well, I went in there, and um, all I did was take all those things away mm-hmm. or had the seller take them away. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we just we just did some simple staging. We didn't even, you know, it didn't cost them anything. They just had to put some things in the closet, and we relisted it and sold it in a couple weeks. Wow. Um, did you change for, the pricing for, to- for top dollar? We had to adjust it a little bit. The, the agent that came in before said that their house was worth like ninety thousand more than it was really worth. Oh wow! Um, so we we did change the pricing a little bit, but we sold it for more than than a home's ever ever sold in that neighborhood. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic! They must have been so with, happy. With multi- yeah, they got multiple offers, and uh, they were they were just I think they were shocked that they were at the closing table. They said, "Mark, we." We don't know what to do now. We've never sold our house. We've, oh. we've listed it three times. <laughs> wow. And, just... and that, you know, that can be so disheartening for people. You're dealing with their, their, you know, their disappointment as well when, when you're trying to convince them, I'm the guy for you. I'm going to be able to sell your house. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then a lot of people have bad experience with, experiences with, with realtors or agents. Yeah. And uh, I like to, you know, kind of count myself as, as one of the good guys. Mhm. Absolutely. I think you are too. Um, so that's great. Now, when you're you're talking about presentation and marketing, obviously pricing has a lot to do with it too, though. I mean, do you have people arguing with you sometimes when they think their house is worth worth more than it is? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say argue. I don't argue with people if they. I, I show them what the market shows. It's not. It's not me. This mm-hmm. is what the market says your home is worth. Yeah. Um. So if you want to argue with anybody argue with the comparables. Mm-hmm. Um, and I tell them, that, you know, if, if you want to get to where you're thinking your house is worth, maybe you should do this or this or this. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I think that would support it better. 
But when it comes to pricing, I, I, I tell people to list it at market value. What does it show? And that's where you're going to get the best results. If you list it above there, you're going to cut out a lot of buyers who aren't even looking in that price range um, or don't have their, um, you know, their Internet set up to where it's, uh, you know, uh, more than a couple thousand than what they're actually looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're going to miss out on those homes. And whenever you price it in market, in our in our market area, in the DFW, dallas Fort Worth area, uh, when you price it at market and provide a very good presentation, uh, what you're seeing is multiple offers, and a lot of times you're seeing above ask offers, so more than what you will, what you're asking for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. That's so good, and I think it's so true because if somebody's looking on MLS, the, the multiple listing service online, and they they know they've been pre-approved for a certain amount of money, they're not going to look over that, so they're not going to even see the houses that are priced too high. Yeah, they set their parameters, or their agent sets their parameters, however they get their listings. Yeah. And um, so let's say they're looking for a $300,000 $300, house. Yeah. Um, uh, if the home, if your home is worth 300000 but you listed it for three thirty, dollars you're cutting out a lot of buyers. Right. And your mm-hmm. home's taking longer to sell. And Yeah. And, 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 and then... Yeah, the houses that do show up for three thirty compared to the one that's worth three hundred, they won't look at it because they think this isn't worth three thirty. <laughs> no, you're right. They won't, and they'll. That's why the homes sit on the market, and then eventually the agent may ask you, "Hey, can we do a price reduction?" Mm-hmm. Uh, well, then you've been on the market for you know twenty, thirty days, whatever it is. Yeah. Now people are looking at your home, thinking, "Why has it been on the market so long?" And what's wrong with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's wrong with your house? Mm-hmm. So I, yeah. I run into that all the time. Um, but I don't, yeah, I don't argue with people. Mm-hmm. I just, uh, I just, you know, if they want to argue with somebody, argue with, argue with their neighbors who sold their house for, <laughs> yeah, for this or that. So, Mark, what would you say are your guiding principles as a business person? Um, I would say trust in my clients, um, and just, you know, it's simple as do a good job. I want to do a good job for my clients, and that's really what it boils down to. Mm-hmm. And just protect them and make sure that. You know, because you're the expert. A lot of times people don't really know. They might hear, oh, well, my cousin says do this or that. And, yeah, they've got to be able to trust their realtor for sure. Yeah, and if I do a good job for them, they're, you know, 9 out of 10, they're going to they're gonna refer me to their family or friends. And mm-hmm. and that's where I get the results, mm-hmm. um, you know, the satisfaction of, of knowing that I did a good job. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that too. Whenever you get a referral, you know, oh, okay, I guess they really liked me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and you know, my, I always talk about how my mom was in real estate for 25 years, but she, she had one client where she could trace something like 20 or 25 sales from that client, from all the referrals. And, the, you know, she had this client for about 20 years. So the different homes that they bought and then their kids grew up and their kids bought homes and their, you know, cousins. And it, it was just that she was like their family realtor. And you probably find that, too. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got, uh, you know, old school friends, family friends, mm-hmm. um, and then clients I've worked with in the past that I've, I've done a good job for that refer me. And, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, those are my those are my favorite clients, my favorite friends, because, you know, they're they're helping me, um, you know, continue what I love to do mm-hmm. by referring me out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, let me ask you, have you ever won any awards for your work? Um, well, I was named top uh, 3% out of all local realtors in wow. the area. Wow. Um, so I don't really go after any awards. Um, I, I, I really focus good. on, you know, just just – like I said before, doing a good job, helping people. That's really my passion is just, you mm-hmm. know, meeting new people and, and and showing them results. And I know you have young kids, right? A girl and a boy. I do. I've got a, I've got a boy. His name's Connor. He's nine years old, about to be oh, 10. Nice. And then my daughter's Audrey and she just turned six. And then oh. we got a small dog. Yeah. Named Gigi, Aww. who is uh, three months old. Oh, so Gigi's like your third child. She's our baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's so nice. And I imagine with you know being involved with your kids and you know, are you do you do any sports or how are you involved in your community? Uh, well, I coach my son's soccer team. Oh, that's great. Um, I really, I really love that. Um, you know, of course, we donate to the various causes. There's always some kind of 
mm-hmm. catastrophe um, or uh, you know just tragedy that, that we want to help people, mm-hmm. um, whether it's donating to a local food pantry or just you know mm-hmm. um, donating money. Yeah. Uh, we're we are heavily involved with Walk for the Cure, uh, okay. the Susan G. Komen. Oh, that's great. Um, we do that in the Dallas and the Plano area. With your um, family? Yeah, with, with the family. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good for you guys. That's good. It's really good to show your kids that, you know, about giving back yeah, and being involved you, in the community. Yeah, we, we want to get involved in more things. We'll just uh, wait until they get a, just a little bit older. Yeah. So I always ask this question, and sometimes people are like, ah, I don't know what you're talking about. But I, I believe that everyone has a million-dollar gift inside of them. And it's it's really what makes your clients want to choose you. So what do you suppose is your million-dollar gift that makes you uniquely you? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. I, I would think that maybe being original and honest, mm-hmm. um, not being pushy or too salesy, mm-hmm. Um I don't consider myself a salesperson. Yeah. Um, I'm more want to, you know, serve and um, and provide than you know just pushing somebody and you know into doing something. So. I think that's really yeah. I think that's a really good point, I, and I think that you are very trustworthy because you're and you're you're such a calm person. You're not gonna be like, hey, yeah, you know, we got to do this, and you know, it's just you're very like solid and and. Um, I think people can trust you and your reputation. Yeah, people right? always say, people always say that. Hey, I can't imagine, Mark. I can't imagine you ever getting mad. Or, yeah. <laughs> or because you're so calm. I'm like, well, you know, like when the Cowboys lose, I get very mad. <laughs> but when it's when I'm when, when I'm you know doing a deal or or Working. marketing a property, that's, that's where I'm in my zone. Where I'm just I'm calm, cool, and collected. I, it's, it's not going to phase me. That's good. Um, and, you, and you run into so many different characters. You know, when you're when you're when you're doing real estate, mm-hmm. that you really have to, you know, stay calm and and not, you know, let things get too personal. Exactly. Don't take it personally. That's so true. Because your clients are often very, very emotional, and they need you to be the calm person. Oh yeah, I've sold homes where you know where the where the, the couples are getting divorced, mm-hmm. and. Uh, you know, maybe maybe the husband or the wife is you know just not at their best. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've I've been there to give them hugs and yeah, and uh, or you know somebody a, a, a woman I recently um, met with, you know, tragically she said that her she wanted to sell her house but she didn't know if she could because her one of her family members had um, you know passed away in the house. Oh, so that was just a that was just a very sad moment where I was yeah you know I felt really bad for her and we had to yeah. hug it out. Oh, um, poor thing. But it's always something. Sometimes you'll get, you know, um, sometimes you'll get a buyer. Like if I'm selling a house, you'll get a buyer that's upset because because he didn't get everything he wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe he didn't get the right the, the price he wanted or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and you just have to, you know, you have to be calm and, mm-hmm. and let him know that you know this is a this is a seller's market. I'm, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, uh, that Rolling Rolling Stones. You can't always get what you want sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if you try, you get what you need. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So the name of this radio show is Real Estate Game Changers. What do you think makes you a real estate game changer, Mark? Um, I would think maybe my marketing techniques, um, some of the things we do mm-hmm. to market homes, get them ready to sell. Um, uh, we. We have buyers before the listings even go active. Wow. Um, so that's a great tool for, for sellers. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you can have buyers lined up before your home is even, you know, on the MLS or wherever, wherever you put it, um, then that's a, that's an amazing value. Absolutely. Now I know you probably don't want to give away all your secrets, but are you comfortable talking a little bit about what kind of marketing you do? Um, what, well, I, I mean, some of it is, is, uh, proprietary. Mm-hmm. Um, some of it is just, you know, just simple things that we do. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit of both. It's, um, it, it's kind of like if you're marketing, a 
you know, a Porsche or something. You're not, you're not going to take a really bad picture of it and, uh, or, or no picture of it. Yeah. And you're going to make sure that it's clean. You're not, you know, it's not going to have junk and trash and, Mm -hmm. and, and fast food containers all in it. Um, (laughs) yeah. Um, you're not going to overprice it, you know, more than it's worth. Um, you're gonna you're gonna do things to make people run out and come to the dealer right away. So um, that's kind of how I look at it. Um, we use we use things that a lot of agents don't use, different technologies, different devices, mm. as far as to you know get the best um, the best perspective of the home. Oh, great! Whether it's you know whether you know whether it's taking a picture in front of it or taking a picture hundreds of feet to, hundred of feet above it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're starting to implement um, virtual reality where wow. you can kind of um, move your phone and you're inside the house. Um, and then on our, we do different advertising. We, we target buyers on our advertising. We don't target agents. Mm. Um, we target buyers because they're really the ones that are, are going to come and buy the homes. And, and uh, several of my recent sales, the buyers had no agents. Oh. Um, so we were able to, we were actually able to save our clients even more money. You know, I'm not greedy. I'm not going to, I'm I'm not going to, you know, um, like double take angle. all of the commission. If, mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if, if I can help out my clients, mm-hmm. then, um, that's what I'm going to do. And that's great. Yeah, uh, so that's a, I think that's probably one of the biggest, uh, things that, that, that differenti- differentiates me from, Another agent. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Absolutely, your marketing is fantastic. I mean, just it's, you've proven it over and over again by being able to sell homes in under thirty days that have been on the market for so long. And it's obviously about you know what you're doing with the presentation and the pricing, and but the marketing is key. And I think you cannot just put a a, a sign on the lawn anymore. I mean, you just have to be online and everything else. Yeah, you do. You have to be on top of your game too. I mean, you have to have good communication, good marketing, mm-hmm. and um, and the drive to you know. Uh, when, when I um, when I get hired, when somebody hires me, I mean, that's all I think about is, you know, how are we going to sell this house, mm-hmm. and uh, and 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 when are we going to get it done? Mm-hmm. I don't I don't stop thinking about that until you know we're at the closing table and. And the seller gets his check. That's so great. That's really good. And you really just take care of people. Yeah. Good, good. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. This has been a great interview, and I really appreciate it. I know you're super busy. It's actually um, evening right now because we couldn't get this done during the day. Um, So let me ask you, um, tell our listeners, how can people contact you? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Okay. Uh, The best way to reach me is... um, Phone number is 469-371-5670. Okay. I've also got a web, I've got several websites, but one of them is DFW. That's stands for Dallas Fort Worth. So DFW home pricing.com. Okay. Um, you can go on, you know, there's those big websites like Truly or Zillow mm-hmm. and read reviews. Um, from clients. Yeah, you have excellent um, reviews. And uh, so those are the probably the best way. I, I mean, I do Twitter and Facebook and all that, but I, I'm not on there all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like to meet with people in person rather than, you know, um, kind of the virtual way. Yeah, being tweet, tweeting I still all want right. to sh- I know. Yeah, I still want to shake their hand and mm-hmm. and actually look at the house because it's like a you know you call up a dentist and you tell them your tooth hurts. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they're going to tell you to come into the office. I want to see your tooth. Well, yeah. it's the same thing. If you call me and say you need to sell your house, well, I need to come and see your house. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got to walk through it and and they even you know just see what what it, what it looks like and what it smells like and everything else, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. It looks like smells like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good, good. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. You have been a great guest. Lots of information, great information. 
And uh, for the listeners, if you're looking for a realtor in Plano or Dallas-Fort Worth area, give Mark Floyd a call. He is your man. Thanks, Suzanne. This has been another episode of Real Estate Game Changers Radio with your host, Suzanne Doyle Ingram. To hear all episodes featuring our hand-picked real estate game changers, visit us online at www.realestategamechangersradio.com.